What is a difference between an engineer and a project engineer? You know what it is, the difference between a project engineer and an engineer? What do project engineers do? What is it that they do that other engineers don't do? Well, we're going to answer those questions in this video right now. Project engineers are managers of an engineering design team or a technical team. Their main focus is on managing the technical aspects of a project or an engineering project. They manage the budget, the schedule, and even the personnel of that team. Project engineers have a very specific role that they play on an engineering design team. Let's discuss some of the uh, various roles that a project engineer plays on your engineering design team. First of all, project engineers have a very deep and thorough understanding of the technical aspects of an engineering design project. You probably worked in the industry for several years, if not many years, on engineering design teams. Now, they actually lead the team and they are responsible to the daily uh, decision-making of that team. Secondly, project engineers have very strong organizational skills. They're able to look at all the different tasks they have and be able to prioritize those tasks into which ones that need to be done first and which ones can wait to another day. Project engineers have a very strong organizational skill set. They're able to prioritize not only the technical tasks, of the design team, but also the scheduling uh, of the team, even the personnel, how to organize the team in order to get the job done, in order to get the design of that particular engineering project done on time and on schedule. Third, project engineers usually have very good communication skills and communication skills in the written, the verbal, and nonverbals. This is because they are not only having to explain the project and the needs of that project to the design team, but they also have to communicate the progress of that project to the stakeholders, even the upper management of the firm. Communication is key to being a project engineer. In the writing that he has to do on his reports, even to the communication verbally to make sure that he clearly communicates what's needed in order to complete the task at hand. Now remember, we said that project engineers probably had a number of years as engineers before they ever became a project engineer. That means they have very strong ability to solve problems, technical problems. They have the background, the deep knowledge needed to solve problems. They listen closely to what is the problem, to understand it, to clearly understand the various aspects of the problem before they ever make a decision on how to solve the problem. Fourth, project engineers have a strong problem-solving ability. They are ultimately responsible for the engineering and the technical aspects of that project. Now in civil engineering and several other types of engineering, there's usually project engineers with professional engineering license. That means they can stamp or seal those plans. They take responsibility for the designs. That means <laughs> that they can be sued if they are wrong. Not only they, but the company can be sued. The professional engineer as a project engineer is essential in certain types of engineering uh, design firms. The fifth role that a project engineer does on a daily basis is that even with all the distraction that he has going on, personnel problems, budgets, schedules, trying to make the task completed, he has to have a very strong, keen awareness of his project. He has to pay close attention to the details. In other words, most project engineers, they look at all parts of that project design, making sure that each number is calculated correctly, that each line is drawn correctly, whether they're in the field, in the office, or where have you, they're very, very keen on the attention to details, making sure that there's no mistakes that may have been overlooked by the team. 
Now also, what does a project engineer do towards the commercial awareness of a project? Well, they're responsible also to the budgets and the schedule to make sure that once the design has been completed or the project is completed, it's on budget or under and that, it's been, and that it has met the various milestones and is completed on time. This is essential to developing a close relationship between the company and the clients. Before I go to the last, uh, I know that you're looking for more information on how to run your engineering business, how to be a good project manager, how to lead as a project engineer. Well, we have many, many videos on those specific subjects for the engineering uh, companies. So to find more videos, please go down below and subscribe to our channel. And also please go way over there and click on the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. And finally, another aspect of what a project engineer does is that he is extremely decisive. He listens to the various sides, the different problems that may be arising with the design, and he makes a decision, a technical decision, that once it's made, he will stick with it. That's why some of them have professional engineering license. They stamp it. That's what they're saying is that I stand behind this design. I know that it's correct, and I'm willing to stake my license to it. Every time a professional engineer stamps a set of plans, well, he just committed himself. So he has to be very decisive, knowing that the technical design, the engineering design that he has approved will work and will be on budget and will be able to be built in a timely fashion and, most importantly, safe for the public. So there you have it. What does a project engineer do? Well, they lead the project team. They are the leaders of that team. They are the decision makers. They are the ones who have the final say. The project manager is above them. Yes, they are. But the technical part of a project team is decided upon and lead it by the project engineer. Now, I know you've gotten a value out of this video, so please go down below right there and subscribe to this station. And also, go over to the side over there and ring that bell because then you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Now, you'll notice also way over here on the side is another video that's coming up that we recommend that you can watch about leadership in an engineering firm, about management on how to run and operate an engineering design firm. So until the next time, keep on growing your engineering knowledge and your management skills. We'll see you on the next video.